G'day, today we're going to play some more Rogue Tower, uh, and this time we're going to follow on from last time where I just did all these upgrades here, and hopefully these sorcery ones uh, and the mana capacity do help a fair bit, and we can um, we can see how we go. So we definitely want to continue on, on, I think, on this one until we really feel like we're doing successfully before I worry about going into two lanes. I would also imagine that that's probably good logic because you'd, you'd want... That's a lot of stuff on my opening square. Uh, you would want just a a better idea of um, uh, sell him to just work on top of this hill. Oh, what was I saying? Uh, like as many upgrades as possible before we sort of jump into into the end like that. Now these towers do seem smart enough that they will just sort of shoot it. Uh, like they're not all going to shoot at the very first guy as someone comes into view which is good or did they just then because it's basically a waste of a shot they're all shooting at the same guy all right our mana efficiency is getting quite good there's only the three seconds I wonder if I should put a uh, have a look at these houses. Every level this house will pay every adjacent tower defending it gold equal to that current level. So I assume that means like level three we would get thirty. So let's have a look at placing say guys in between those two. Let's see how we do money wise so there you go four gold for, uh four gold from those two and eight gold from that one so even though those guys cost me close to 100 gold um it does seem like it could be a worthwhile investment <laughs> those guys actually did pay off too in the end there okay so I realize I can, I don't have to wait around for Tesla coils here. I can actually go straight into them because um, we have mana. We actually are gaining some, be it very slowly. That these, these guys will probably burn through it very quickly. But they're in a good position there to take advantage of that real hook. Like to see our mortars come in soon as well. Might go for a few more Tesla coils along the way. seem worthwhile. Still need the money to do this? Okay. This is such a nice chip down of everyone. You can see that guy's doing. But basically, yeah, this is the this is the strategy and the way that you need to be doing it that Basically, these guys are just meant to be focusing down individuals. They're not meant to be taking on the whole horde. So what you're sort of seeing there is, is much better. I'd like to get the um, the other towers in though, the mortars. Those aren't doing much to the um, guys with the armor though. Or is that shields? I can't remember which is which still. Also, thank you to the person that pointed out that um, every time I clicked on a tower, I was pressing escape to, to sort of get out of it. But all I had to do was uh, right click, and that was the that was the key, the secret to that one. 
Because the mana's gaining back so quick. Um, let's make me think that I should expand a little bit more. Problem is that because we've already hit like these forks from this point, really we want everyone sort of this side of this fork. We can't even afford another Tesla coil at this point anyway. But you can see the guys that have like the shields and they're not taking any sort of beating from, from that at all. Yeah, we're starting to look a little bit more shaky here. So I'd say we want to just introduce a few more balusters further up and what we can do go for the more mana but we want the range I don't think the mana is a problem at this point so we'll do that um, and what we'll do is we'll change these guys priorities so we'll go here most armor most shield most health and then this guy will be most shield, most armor, most health. So two of them are shooting at two different guys. And then this is is uh, most armor, most shield, most health. And then this guy is most shield, most armor, most health. It's because those should be the guys that the Tesla towers aren't taking out. And so it can be more their focus to, to try and work down those guys. So I think also if we get them through those shields, they might actually have a bit more chance of just being completely knocked down. I have a few more in this corner too. We'll do the same, so we'll go most shield, most armor, most health, most armor, most shield, most health. Now I wonder if I should put another Tesla tower. Two in there wouldn't be too bad. This depends on like, I mean, I'd be curious to see the damage per cost sort of at the end of this. Now realizing that they are quite expensive, so I could definitely go either way. It, it, it would more depend on how long you lasted, I suppose. But the important thing is you can see that my mana isn't too much a problem with the amount that I currently have. So basically what we want to do is just have a few more guys just whipping around and wreaking havoc on these guys because we don't want them to reach this point where we've only got those towers left picking them off because there's I don't have enough towers up there versus how many guys are getting through I suppose Do we have any mining spots? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's get a mine in there. Now you can put a mine in every spot adjacent, so we can go there too. Okay. That's all. I would like my next set of gold will be another Tesla coil right there. 
Maybe it should be two in here. Or at least there. Or there, up on that hill. They are doing a good job of picking off a lot of those little guys. You can see the mana though has gotten right down. So we almost are at maximum... Um, maximum amount before we need that mana to, to be upped again. Because this is where these guys are starting to pay dividends. It would take less than 10 levels from this point to, I don't know, yeah, less than 10 levels for a Ballister sitting next to one of these guys to um, reap some rewards. So let's put another guy in there so that he's just right next to one. Uh, but we'll give him those same armor shield health. start the next wave a little bit quicker between I think they're starting to be so far away that I don't need to wander too much between waves okay so here we go we've got Oogie coming now the problem will be that all of these um, these guys won't focus on him because they're gonna go for the guys with with armor but if he's if this is long enough and he's slow enough maybe they are they'll get around to him but also, I don't know if that's actually a good thing that I need the, the armor guy to just focus down. We'll see how we go. We are running out of mana though, which is the problem because... I would like Oogie to... Actually be hit by our Tesla guys. Give it those two guys to be most health at least so they can... Oh, no one's gonna shoot at Oogie. Alright. Change that to the wrong thing. Okay. Okay, you gonna need to do some uh, solid work here. <laughs> I can't like again. This is a another one where the first time I faced him, no problems. But now, room for improvement. Now the the damage that the ballist, uh, ballistas do is skewed because of how much I just spent on that guy. I don't mind this idea though, that there's an actual scattering between the two. So let's return to the menu. Let's spend the money that we've just gotten there. Draw frequency is definitely something that we want. And we also want the draw too. So this stuff here we're hanging out for. Yeah, we'll take that. That costs mana to make money. Take it. We'll 
let's do the thing that we can afford at this point. Okay, here we go again. So what did we learn from that last approach here? It was the amount of Tesla coils I had ended up sort of having a problem. So similar to the last one, we will place you guys in there. Um, I think that should be enough for this first guy. We'll guys up on the hills. We will try and sort of have them at different different points along the way. So they're not all shooting at the same one guy. What do we want more? The mine or the siphon? Go the siphon. Let's chuck two in there. And that means that basically we're already at the point where we start to split. So we will line our high points in here with balusters. Our Teslas are going to have to sit within this area here. These can be good because at least these guys can sort of shoot back at them as they uh, they come around that corner. And so yeah, this is an attempt to sort of have my balusters less clumped together and sort of a bit more spread so that they're just all going to, I guess, scatter shot guys. They're not going to all hit the same one guy and waste their damage. Okay, Mortar. We don't need more mana. We're good. Any question would be whether I just try and commit just to, to balusters to see how we go. Let's do that. Let's try that as a strategy this time. We will just spend money on um that's a great turn. That means these guys we can uh we can focus a bit more up on that hill. This way, it's sort of more that we're not going to wait. We're not expecting the mortars or the balusters, uh, mortars or the Tesla coils, excuse me, to come and save us. We're we're going to just try upgrading these guys. We get that that option where they do mana, they do damage for mana. Sure, let's try it out. But I would still like all of these guys to be at least uh, on this part of the track where, where everyone converges. Just from about there. I mean, we'll stack them a little bit heavy together at this, this sort of like focal point. And we will give some of them a. Armor and shield preferences. What was he? It was armor, so we'll make this guy shield. An additional five percent to slow. The game base three damage. So the combination of both of these would be good, but let's try this out. Let's try how how much mana this is gonna sort of cost me to. I mean, so far only the one guy shooting it's not too bad, but.
I mean, so far that's looking good. If that's if that's base damage saying that all three of these have, have gone up, then this is a huge, huge gain. That will expand. This guy here was shield, so we'll make his mate next to him armor. And that guy there was armor, so we'll make this one shield. Now from here what we're going to try is um, upgrading these guys. Part of it is just the idea that the more of them we've got, the more arrows are in the air, basically. That's part of the, the logic of having as many as we can. We'll try and get a few more guys in this central front point. And we'll also give these focus... Focus goals. These are also still pretty cheap. And they're not causing a problem at all for the manor anyway. I mean, we can put more siphons around this guy. So far, we don't even need it. I think like 156 is as low as it's pushing it at the moment. level 3s. And it is good that combination of some guys shooting at the guys running off, others shooting at the, uh, the strongest guys. I don't think these guys can make him bleed. Go to the mine. Uh, I wanted two more of these, and then I'll... Then I'll sit on my hands for building balusters, I think. A shield, so this guy should be armor. So those each increase the the amount of health that the tower has. So obviously, when that comes to Augie, it doesn't much matter if if uh, he's getting through, he's he's winning it anyway. So it almost makes it feel like what that should be uh, for is when um, when you, you sort of feel like you're going to be in trouble, you could probably build a few of those nice and quick. So see here there's a lot of guys and this is where the Tesla towers come in handy and this is also where it's just handy that I've got so many of these towers um, because is that a three spot up there yeah let's put the guy up that hill at least um, because it means that they're just chipping out those little guys but again I haven't really worked out in this one what's better five level one towers or one level five tower which is a pretty important fundamental to understand when playing tower defense games. Which which sort of way does that sway? Are you better with more towers? Or are you better with leveled up towers? Alright, here he comes. Here's the test. 
So it'll really be after this guy that we want to upgrade our shield and, and armor abilities. Mainly, at least the good thing here is that so many of these guys just rush off that most of this should already be gone before Oogie hits the, the gauntlet. Man, that's a lot of guys getting through though. Oh, at least they're slowing him, something fierce. At least give him a chance to really get it done, buddy. Okay. Your chance equal to their level. Now I feel like the Excellent. that's gonna be the important one. Um I think the bleeding I'm not sure anyone does bleed though, do they? Alright, let's pick a direction. It's also tricky because they the towers just level up on their own, so how much money do you really want to spend leveling up towers when you can see there are, there are tiny little guys here that are just wandering through, that it's like, well, is it is it just purely the number of shots that I'm putting up that is actually important here? Let's get a few more in place. Because if nothing else, just putting shots on guys is slowing them down. But I mean, this is a lot that's that's sort of gotten through there. So much so, let, maybe let's try and uh, get a few extra pieces of health. Because we are in trouble with that. And so definitely this seems to be the next big thing, is that... You need to be focused enough on health to be able to take down Oogie, but the second that he's done, I think that's armor? Armor is coming for you. Maybe it's shield, because it looks like we did a lot more armor, so I'd say it's probably shield. Shield is coming for you, so you actually need to have spent like a fair bit of money in, in upgrading shield. Good to know. Alright, well, we might call that the end of this one. I won't go for a third round. Um, and was it a fourth round? That was third, I think. What we will do is see what we can spend. So we're down to three more cards before we can get that double draw card. Um, that's pretty good. Let's uh, get a frost keep going. I'll let them sort of really do some. Uh, It does feel like you'd have to survive a long time to you, if you're going to be unlocking a lot of these things, but it'll probably more be that we can draw three cards and we can draw more frequently are the two things. So I guess a lot of this is just sort of like gaining a base understanding of the way the game works. And then um, and then by the time that you actually are relevant enough to, to do the damage, you're good to go. And then we can up it by, by trying to add multiple lanes. There we go. Any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. But until next time, catch you later. See ya.